Thanks for joining us today on the Oakland Car Review. I'm here at the Saab dealership in Detroit. I'm going to be bringing you today some of the all new Saab models like the new 9.5 and 9.4X. So we'll get started with the all new 9.5. Here I am next to the all new 9.5. You are looking at the engine. It is a four cylinder, 220 horsepower engine. That produces 258 pound feet of torque. It has a 0 to 60 time of 8.2 seconds and also has a 6 speed transmission. You can expect uh, 18 in the city with about 28 on the highway. And premium fuel is recommended for this engine. Now let's take a look at the exterior. Here we have the LED headlamp it also is equipped with fog lights and the sensors right here as well as the headlamp washing system. Now let's take a look at the rest of the car. Right here on the mirror we have the mirror blinkers and that's a good safety feature. And right here we have the really nice rims on this side. It comes with um, these very nice rims they make the car look really nice. Right here we have the chrome accent door handles. Follow me along the back here. The car slopes down very nicely right here into the taillights right here. They have a very nice curve to them that fits really nicely with the rest of the car. They slope all the way around the back here. They just wrap right around the trunk right over here. And now let's see what the Saab 95 has to offer inside. Here I am inside the all new 95. As you can see, we have a very sleek design that reminds me quite a bit of the outside. They just carried that sleekness right inside. So right here we have the climate control area with all the very nicely designed buttons. They have a very good strong feel to them. We have our blower motor control right here and heated seats for the winter time. And it does have a CD player, and that's right here. And here are all your radio controls. We have your volume and so on. And we have up to six presets for favorite radio stations. And right here you would um, see the station that you're listening to. Um, the information on that would come up right there. And over here we have the steering wheel, obviously. It has nice hand controls here for the radio on the right-hand side, so you don't have to take your hands off the wheel. It also has hands-free calling, which means you can link your phone if it has Bluetooth to the car, and you can answer calls, and you will be able to hear everything the person's saying on the other line right through your car's speakers. And we also have cruise control over here. And then right here, looking at the gauges, they are very cool gauges. They remind me quite a bit of an airplane's gauges. They remind me very much of a sleek, new-look design on the gauges. Here we have the door panel, and we have this really nice wood accent in the door. It also gives it um, more of a refined look to the door panel. And here we have the doorknob, which fits very nicely into the whole panel. It gives it a very nice, sleek look. And here we obviously have our window controls. Now, on previous Saab models, they had placed the window controls right here in the center console, and then they moved them over here to the door, like most cars are. We have a very nice sunroof up here, which it goes all the way into the back seat. This is a really neat thing I feel on the Saab. It just gives it a really great look on the inside. and also lets a lot of nice natural light come in from the outside. And then let's go out into the back seat and see what it has to offer us back there. In the back seat here, we have tons of legroom. I The seat up here is in about a middle position, the driver's seat, and I still have a plenty of legroom back here. It'd be great for long trips. And one thing though I do notice is that I have some limited headroom here, so anyone taller might have a problem with that. We have this nice drink holder right here with some storage as well as an armrest, and that works out pretty nice. And right here we have air in the back for passengers and pee as well. Right there.
Now, let's go for a test drive in the 9.5. Here we are driving the 2011 Saab 9.5. It has a very nice feel to the wheel. It's a very sporty feeling. Very good brakes. This is a new car, so it should have been good brakes. Here at the Troy Motor Mall at the Saab dealership there. Very nice feel. This car it has a very minimal turbo lag, like when I drove the 2009 Arrow. It did have some noticeable turbo lag, but this has much better turbo in it. It's going to uh, the low drive. Very nice, smooth shifting to six speed on a man. More comfortable than the older 2009 model. Here we have the uh, navigation system over here in the center council area. It is over here on the right side of the screen. It is a pretty nice navigation system from what I've seen of it so far. It shows right up here that there's a little Caesar's Pizza and there's a golf course over there. So um, it works and it gets the job done. So here we are, we just turned on to Coolidge Road, and again we've had a very nice driving experience. It has a really nice sporty handling, very tight steering. Thanks for watching the Oakland Car Review today. Saab has done a great job introducing the all new 2011 models. They have bounced right back up from their restructuring and they're on their way to a great future.